Are we live? There we go. Episode 807. Here we go, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the crypto. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> ah! Should have warmed up. Crypto! Woo! Happy 420, guys. Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. All right. I paid attention, so I know the right intro now. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, showtime. What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's going what on? Up? Oh, you know, same shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. guess what? I got the fucking uh, I got the numbers converted into the right format, so that we might actually see the right balance entitlements set on testnet. So, pending, I can get a good, good dry stuff. run happening today. Uh, yeah, it, it'll be full scale test, including the, the website to go with it. And if that works, we're good to launch completely everything. Okay. Completely. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then like, you know, basically once we get the MGE going, like while that's, while, while we get that running, you know, I can start laying out the groundwork for, uh, for wool shed and, and all that as well. Yeah. That'd be, cool. be a good way to start the year. <laughs> Oh yeah, cool. absolutely. I just had um, PCM's daughter was DMing me asking me, like, uh, when I told her, "Look, I don't know." As soon as I know, like, I'm not the dev, so because she's like, "Who can I ask?" I'm like, "I'll let you know." Like, you know, I don't need her going and bothering you. <laughs> but yeah, I've had P- I've had a couple other people that don't really follow us that have been like, "Oh, what's going on?" I just tell them, "Look, we're migrating right now." And then yeah. they're like, "What?" Some of them don't know what that means. Like, I've gotten people into into Sheep Token that were such no coiners, they don't even know what I'm talking about. When I was like, "We're uh, migrating to BSC," they're like, "Okay, explain that to me, please." Okay, yeah. So <laughs> it's that's it's, why, yeah. like, when I told you, like early that's, on, um, like a lot of these no coiners are getting really impatient because, like, they were yeah. Like, no, I I totally no understand why they why, why they probably get on you know, impatient or whatever. But that's what I'm saying about like you know you got to understand what it is that you're getting into. Like, you know, um, but we are we're we're right freaking there. You know, the the, the nice. tables are are literally produced so that I can run the balance uh, assignments. Um, I, I'm just waiting for that good window of time now where I can actually launch that test deployment. And uh, yeah, pending all that working, uh, yeah, we'll be going to mainnet. So yeah, cool. Yep. That'd be good. Start off the year well with a printer that's actually working. I know that uh-huh. Black Sheep's found a couple lately that are working that I haven't jumped yeah. into yet. How's um, Rely Fund going? That's it, Rely. Yeah. So far, ARC's doing great. You know, and getting to guys, this isn't financial advice. We're just talking about what we do. And that's uh, right. Black our Sheep. insights, our perspectives, you know. Oh, that that's a low blow. Donnie gospel. D, the new Richard Hart. Oh, Ooh. oh, Ooh. First off, Donnie <laughs> D hard. would never see. Be it, oh, see, you can't suit. say things like that because I can't respond as uh, you, I, I can't <laughs> say what I need to say about that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Donnie. <laughs> <Got him. laughs> 
Yeah. So, um, yeah, stay safe and green. Oh, yeah. But for reals, all bullshit aside, cross. I hope if that storm that's about to hit you guys is as bad as they claim, I hope you're, you're all good and you're safe, dude. I know you're a little bit more inland, so it, it wouldn't hit you as hard, but you, you guys are still going to get, if they end up with a freaking, what's it called? A, um, spout a, a water spout like they're saying around san francisco <laughs> uh that's gonna turn into a major storm still you know wash away the liberals wash and wash, and wash away. <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what it is god's about to clean all the shit and urine out of san francisco yeah that's right he's about to give it a the cleansing. only way to fix it is to flush it all away <laughs> I wonder how many people fucking passed away in that that storm though, because I mean, like say I family in the two hundred nine area, and I watched his like <laughs> IG it says two hundred two hundred nine times, and like you see like flooding trees falling over, right cars, already, like, huh? In Cali already? Like two days ago, yeah. Like if you go on Instagram, go to two hundred nine times, um, oh, and they wow. show you like this the two hundred nine area, um, yeah. they show you like the diesels over and the flooding and all. Where's stuff. where is that part area? Where is uh, but that's still Stockton, uh, okay. right, right in Sacramento. That's what I was thinking, like Stockton, because yeah. well, we <laughs> we were getting like today. I right now is the first time I've seen blue skies and sunlight, uh, since uh, for like at least a, a solid few days. And we've got a we get like snow, and then it's overcast, and then snow, and then the next day over. So it's been kind of going back and forth day to day since like uh, New Year's Eve, I think. <laughs> um, yeah. But I know there's supposed to be some major snow coming our way again, which that's what the Bay Area is about to get hit with. Yeah. I know this weekend, we're supposed to be getting slammed bad. Yeah. I, I mean, I cross kind of hurt my feelings earlier and shit. Um, Why? He says, he says, uh, a Cali dude might have to move. I said, man, the skies are beautiful here. He goes, bro, you live in Mexico. That don't even count. <laughs> I live in California. Yeah, dude, you got. Aren't you guys supposed to be getting hit with some crazy storm too on the south? Like, is it nope. all California getting nailed? Like, no, nope. nope. L.A., San Diego, we won't come this far down because we have we have uh, mountains that kind of like bowl us. Oh, so it'll deflect up yeah. toward like Arizona, Nevada. Yeah. I wish we'll get something, but we don't get it as bad because a lot of times the clouds don't go through the mountains. They kind of the, the mountains kind of just like block them, and they kind of hold them back. And they, you know, you got to go through, got to go over the mountains to, to get here. But that's one thing. Like, say I don't like driving to San Diego this time of year. I don't drive to San Diego in December and January because we have snow on the mountains and stuff like that. And you know, I had a couple of bad experiences and stuff when I was young, um, yeah. to where we almost got some car accidents. Uh, going skiing and shit. So, uh, me and snow really ain't friendly no more. Kind of, yeah, I, I got a chicken drive ever, no. I don't think I've ever been to your part of California. If so, it was when I was like a really young kid, like driving through on family trips that I don't remember. Well, a lot of people uh, come out here, like say you do like dirt bikes or, or you know, saying the the sand rails and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, like, like say we got a lot of professional BM, uh, not BMX, a lot of professional motocross riders that come out here and train like in Glamis and stuff like that. So. I, I wonder if that's where, because when I grew up in yeah, uh, like San Marcos, a lot of our neighbors had like, this was the 80s, they had like sand rails and three wheelers yeah. and shit. I wonder if that's where they used to go. They were all, like my parents never hung out with all them. Like all those families hung out together because they were all like drunks. Yeah. And, my, and my parents Dope, were like, dude, were the like, say, you figure like the, 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 the sand rails, 30, 40,000, the trailer to pull it, you know what I'm saying, the RV. Another fucking, you know, saying thirty, forty thousand, and then the motorhome, like another hundred thousand. Like, man, like you got to have a quarter million dollars just in toys, just go play with these big guys and shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like man, well, the, the razor that Sparta, I want, gentlemen, this is Sparta. The the <laughs> razor that I want, like <laughs> when I look at them most recently, yeah. they're like forty five to fifty grand now, and I'm like, yeah, my boy works at a fucking at a, a shop here. Um, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but yeah, but they sell like dirt bikes and, and quads and, and razors and sand rails and all that kind of shit. So yeah. Yeah, dude, they've got, even those have gotten out of control though in price. Like, 
I mean, you could still get one for, I mean, if you want to call it decent, like, you know, the low tw- mid twenties, but to get like the badass ones from, from Polaris or from Can-Am, yeah. you know, they're, they're like, you're looking at 40,000. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. It's fucking crazy, dude. Fuck it. I was like, you know, I was like, yeah, that's, that's been sport like a quarter million and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, you got to figure it like this. On average, each person out there probably has a hundred thousand dollars in toys. You know, what I'm saying because yeah. they go out there for like you know, saying three four days go camping and shit. Yeah, you know, I like, man, I, you know, just when I go out with all my dirt bikes, like one time I was like, holy shit, like, and this was before I had money too. I was like, this was like we had like thirty thirty five thousand dollars worth of dirt bikes between like yeah. three or four bikes that I had, <laughs> and I was like, oof. I was even then. I was like, "Holy crap!" Oh, yeah, because like say like these little fucking um. Okay, yeah, my I mean, even 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 dirt bikes are fucking thousand, two thousand dollars now. To where you know, saying they're like seven, eight hundred bucks less than a thousand. Oh, dude, yeah, like new oh, yeah. new ones mm-hmm. are like you're talking freaking. Uh, you got a shot, Donnie. Ten to fifteen grand okay. now for mm-hmm. brand new dirt bikes, dude. It's and you could find them for even more than that. It's yeah. crazy. No, no, like say out here and stuff like that. My son has a um a nineteen nine. I want to say like nineteen ninety three, nineteen ninety five. No, uh, like a I don't know what your Pathfinder is. I it might be a two thousand five. I can't really remember. But like say the Pathfinder is like the with big monster wheels. Um, if he takes that out there to climb us, he probably get like maybe two grand, twenty five hundred for it. Um, yeah. with no motor working, no transmission, no nothing, just because they like those fucking those uh, Nissan Pathfinder uh, bodies. Yeah, doing great. My uh. I just got mine up to over ten thousand today, so it's printing over two hundred bucks a day right now. What's that? Real life fund. Nice. Yeah, I got no extra money right now, and I got rent. They're, uh, they're doing their NFTs right now. They're selling their NFTs, which give you access to the bot. Oh, that's a bot one. Okay, okay, okay. The bot. Yeah, yeah that's been the latest trend. Everything, everything's been going bot again. Like. I yeah. said PTSD. I'm like, no. Well, it, these guys are here because Stable Fund wrecked everybody with fucking fake bots that that uh, you know never even existed. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, let me show you something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so they're coming out with real bots and real stuff, and uh, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> keep printing. Keep printing. Yep. Hey, 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 hey I, I. I want to get into it. I just need to figure out where I'm going to move capital from and to stat so, part yeah. of the freaking market. Oh. Dude, I put about. my, um, my arc on the auto. Great. I put it on the auto allocate thing, right? At 2.5%. And yeah. it's dropped me lower than it when it's fucking do, letting it do it auto. I'm at 2.153. And I was at like at 2.5. When I started doing it, yeah, it's well, it's it's probably gonna drop slightly. I mean, mine stays right there at one point four nine five. Yeah, mine would go well. It would drop between like two point four seven whatever and two point five is where it was popping around between. It was this new piston game I heard about earlier. Since you're on piston, I don't know. Piston's still printing. No, they're talking about they're talking about a game on yeah, there. I saw, I saw the game. The, the who brought that up? Philly brought it up. Yeah. So, what the fuck's the game? Yeah, you get access to the bot. Like you can actually trade with the bot. You don't, and you don't get all the. You don't have to worry about all the bullshit like, like going into their thing. You have you you're locked up, and you can only withdraw a certain time. You can withdraw like any time. All that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're actually legit. They're doing good shit, so that's why I put ten thousand fucking dollars in there. <laughs> you throw ten thousand at everything. I know. <laughs> no, <laughs> he was throwing like twenty thousand at everything for a while there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the market's bad. This time last year, there's other things sheep- that I can't talk about on this stream that I threw a lot more at. Yeah, <laughs> when hey, when sheep, uh, the when sheep's only down to throwing ten grand into something new, you know the market's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> now ten grand is like the sweet number and shit. That's a sweet spot. Yeah, I still well, got like a hundred thousand to go to ROI on that certain thing. But uh, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> right. 
Hey, we had some positive conversations today about that, though. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, February's gonna kick ass. February's gonna kick ass. (laughs) I'll be throwing money at everything. (laughs) Well, Well, good you mentioned that. I've I've actually been chatting with um, a couple of my dev buddies or whatever, and uh, following up from once we get uh, the elite tokens out there, both sheep and then the um, the the dex token, right? Uh, mm-hmm. We're actually looking at starting to spring up some extra uh, services, which are going to help all of the projects that we're all uh, enjoying at the moment. So okay. one of the things that we've been checking out today is um, called GraphQL, right? It, it's it's it, in simple terms, it's like a special language that you can like sort of write scripts in that makes getting a lot of information off the blockchain really fast and, and like really easy. Okay. Um, and so we're going to rig that up. Uh, for all sorts of things, you know, so that means that projects will be able to do like l- large applications like for vaults and like farms and pools and, and just whatever the hell kind of information they need to make their apps faster, you know. Okay. And then eventually we're just going to keep on building out service level stuff like that that people can bolt onto to make their apps better, you know. We'll, we'll eventually become like a service provider to that, Go. Which, um, which I think is going to be pretty kick ass. Especially when down. we instill the uh, the fee model on top of that, and then start feeding those fees back into those, you know, aforementioned elite tokens, you know, just imagine that. Let's fucking go, Donnie. Yeah, 2023 with a bang, man. I'm loving yeah. 2023, bro. Loving 2023. Fucking yeah, I got like, Zilla doing some work for me. Like I shit. thought 2022 was 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 the shit, man. We got so dude. The beginning of 2022 was awesome. It's getting dude. better first and better. Four months, <laughs> First four, five, three, 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 is awesome. like more absolutely more awesome. going to get better because the look the longer anybody is alive, the longer they are, they have what we call experience. You know, whether yeah. it's in one subject or another, or just life in general. You know, you continually learn and evolve from what you were an hour ago. You know, yeah. if you if you're not doing that, well, you know, what the hell yeah. are you doing? You know, but yeah. but yeah, so every year is progressively <laughs> going to get better. You know, yeah. I could imagine I, I a DeFi can't... game 10 years from now, man. <laughs> oh, fucking oath, man. Uh, I should be able to save some money by then. I should be able to save oh, some money man. by like 10 years. You'd be crazy. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah. Pretty crazy. Yep. Oh, shit. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, we want to compound that one. Mm-hmm. Furio still doing his Furio thing. Yeah. Nice. Like I said, I think I think I'm a touch. I have, I think I'm a touch one of my Furio accounts uh, in February. It'll be fucking right there. I paint out like fifty dollars a day. So I'm touching one right. of them. I wanted both of them to go to max payout, but I don't feel like waiting that fucking long. Oh, and I did wreck my stuff the other night. I looked at the blockchain. <laughs> oh yeah, what happened? Yeah, those because I I had two accounts that that I that I just opened that I was using to sell from because I'm I'm trying to let the uh, a couple of these um, wear off so I can uh, dig dig into that for a pool. Okay, and, uh, and there's a ninety percent sales tax if you if you don't if you have don't have in the vault twenty five percent. Of uh, or if you're trying to sell 25 percent of what what the hell did it say? You know what I'm talking about? If yeah, you have, yeah. You get the you get the 90 percent sales tax if you're trying to sell 20 uh more than 25 percent of what you got in the vault. And since I don't have anything right. in the vault in those, it it fucking wrecked me. I would I went from uh, I sold 90 coin or 90 dollars worth and I got 16. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. I mean, like, it wasn't really losing that much. It was just, it's just funny because I look back at the box and I'm like, oh, yeah, I did get furioed. <laughs> wow. That's funny. So I just got to throw, yeah. like, I, I really just have to throw, um, I guess, like $400 in each one of those to be able to sell. Hey, it's days. smart on their part, though. Yeah, it's good. I mean, anything they can do to make I'll have a couple. I'll have a couple more accounts. <laughs> without without fucking yeah. taking our money away anymore make it sustainable yeah. without taking that away that's a good way to do it but i think that's always been there right yeah it's always been there i just forgot about it 
Yeah. And I, for, I didn't notice the little warning until uh, last night when I went to Well, that's like, easy oh, to forget. Yeah. That's not yeah. one of those things with all the information we're fed about what, a project or all these projects. That's one of those easy to whoops out yeah. things. Yeah, and it was like little fine print. I was like, oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Fairy hood is a verb now. Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you got fairy hood. Yeah. They're like, this is Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Damn. Hmm. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. I might go that way tomorrow. Hey, have y'all heard about drip? <laughs> oh god no yes we, no, we heard about no. <laughs> what the hair go ahead and tell me you bought more <laughs> didn't you well uh no i, I, I mean i always buy it. i want to be well here by case you didn't know i'm always buying drip like man today tomorrow when i ever buy drip buy drip we're going to hell <laughs> yes sir uh, yes, guess sir. i'm going to hell then <laughs> <laughs> hey Donnie, Donnie, hey, I know you're a flat earther actor, whatever, down there in Australia. So uh, hey. so just calm down. Hey, you know what we're talking about flat you, we all know the earth is flat. Okay. Otherwise we roll right off the fucking oh, edge. Here we go. So so tell me something. If, earth, if, if, no. Tell me something about this about this flat earth thing. If enough people stand oh. on, on like one side of the land, is the earth gonna start flipping like a coin or what? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right? That's a good. Hey, no, that's a, that's a good one, though. No, honestly, you, you know you, what? You can't place too much weight on one side of it, or else it's going to tip over and flip everybody off. <laughs> no, no. Really, what I what I think is stuff because, like, say, <laughs> if you look at my skies all the time, my skies are always beautiful, right? Let me turn my camera on. My skies are always like beautiful, right? And so, you know, that's my sky right there. You know, they're very little clouds, very little clouds. You can see the moon and shit. You know, there's very little clouds. And so, you know, I joke we I joke around and I kinda like, you know, imagine I live in a dome because like say it like you know, it's just the skies are always so fucking beautiful, it's just it looks like it's a glass top, glass ceiling and shit. <laughs> you know, I'm kinda I'm more like more like that Simpson like in the bubble, like yeah, man, that's kinda like how I feel because it's beautiful here. Like say I feel sorry for my family in Northern California and I feel sorry for my friends who are like living in the snow and freezing their ass off. But right here, it's fucking, it's like perfect. You know what I mean? At least for me, at least. Except for the summertime. Yeah. Well, I got a pool. <laughs> I got a pool and an AC that works now. Summertime shouldn't be so bad. Oh, you, oh it yeah. Work? You haven't tried it during summer yet. Really Didn't it just get fixed? <laughs> no, it, no, we got to fix it. We got to fix one week before summer was over. Yeah, so that doesn't count, bro. Wait till it's 120. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know right. how that's crazy there. No, my grandmother turned 90 on the first or stuff, and oh man, Clover's grandma passed, man. Sorry to hear that about Clover. Sorry about that, Clover. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, uh, man. Damn. But like, she's like 94, 97 years old. So I'm like, that's what's up. That's what's up. My, my grandma, my last one that died last year, she was like, what was she like, uh, a week away from being 94? When she yeah, my grandma like just turned 90. Like, man, you know, yeah. and it's got, it's, you know, it's it's funny, like, but I don't know. My Your family kind of lives kind of old. You being so old, I my mean, family lives kind of be kind of old and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like ninety, you know, like ninety one. I mean, I yeah, I, I saw that. Um, I didn't see anything about the nodes, but yeah, cool. Right on. So what? I can set up my node now or what? Cool. <laughs> if i was gonna do that to my kid i would have at least been smart enough to like put something to block their head just in case you mess up <laughs> yeah just in case <laughs> like the body and your big waxing might might it might hurt a book or a book in front of your face or something yeah but <laughs> Dude, an RC card to the head. But, it's but, not like pink. <laughs> it was full force, dude. It was going. So um, after, like, we're supposed to get, like, the bad snow and, and shit, I think, until, like, Saturday or Sunday, 
And mm-hmm. after all the snow's gone, uh, Julian and I, we're going to tr- make a track in the snow. We're going to like pack Please it down. On. I might even like, like shovel it into like, like, uh, like up high, like two f- feet, you know, three feet high, depending on how much we got there. And we're no. going to make a track so we can go race around with the uh, yeah. RC cars. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, that, I, I was thinking like, I, I was waiting like, um, not go karts. I was thinking like quad or something, what you're going to say. No, 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 because it's just in our backyard here, like yeah. on our property. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, like say fucking um, one year we bought fucking we bought the 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 electric boats just to fucking boat race on the fucking pool and shit. So yeah, mm-hmm. you know, take advantage of it. Like, okay, my my we want to buy a monster truck or something though, remote control monster truck just to ride in the snow. Or do you already have some? Um, we got Julian the boy. He got two RC cars for one's like an outdoor. It's got the real good suspension. The other one is a McLaren. Yeah, so my boy got like a I hopper did. and all kinds of them shit. Like, dude, those that's another thing and shit. Those little those little fucking RC cars, like fucking three hundred, four hundred dollars now. They used to be like fucking like one ninety nine to three. Now they're between three and five. Dude, 700. in the eighties, my dad used to spend like three hundred to five hundred on those things, yeah. dude. Yeah, in the eighties, but he yeah, no, no, I was that probably like a top of the end one. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Now like a starter takes like stuff. fucking like two hundred dollars. And now aren't they all just pre made? Because he had to build it too. Like he would get. Oh yeah, it. no. Now that now they're prefabbed and shit, but then you could fucking put uh, different carbs and carburetors on there, uh, different you know, suspensions. You know, so you could you know, but the basic body kit starts off like uh, one ninety nine. Yeah, because he would and it'll go, to... it'll go, it'll go like fucking like uh, thirty miles an hour. But then oh, like yeah, you dude. get this, you get they go forty. You know, my boy says this shit does like seventy two miles an hour and shit. I believe it. it's crazy, but like it's in the in the eighties. Mm. My dad had both gas and electric ones. Yeah, the gas one. Both of them are fast. Um, and but I felt like the electric ones back then seemed like a little bit faster, but they weren't as fun because they didn't make hey, it. Hey, just like now, electric faster. Dude, they but my dad's car little cars back in the 80s, dude. Mm. They I think they were doing them like about 55 miles an hour. Like he used to bring his electric one to this little indoor track and shit. We had okay, a lot okay. of them. Yeah. Not, not never been an indoor track. Just you know, like we go fucking baseball fields or fucking out in the desert and just fucking. He knew that too. Like we had a monster truck one, and then mm-hmm. and then he had like a, like one that, but it was like a originally a Subaru Brat was the body style, mm-hmm. but he changed the body into like a nineteen thirty something Chevy. Oh, you know, you know uh, it up. hold on, hold on, hold on. You know those, you know that, uh, you know the Brat, right? Uh huh. Those actually go by a different name over here. What are they? They're called the Subaru Brumby. Brumby, pretty sure. I don't. Yeah. Oh, when you said the brat, I was thinking of the rapper. Anymore. No, do you? Do you? They still make them there? Uh, hell no. Yeah, they don't make them here either. They were. You see, I think that they're obviously they weren't popular enough if they don't make them. But I think it's a cool concept. Some people they may not want a truck, or maybe they can't. You know, they can't put a truck where they live. But they still want that convenience for maybe maybe they like to go ride bikes, you know what I mean, or something. And hey, did you guys not- see that fucking video I posted earlier? What about with all the little cars? I don't think so. Oh, uh, dude, check this out. Check this out. I'll post it in the Telegram chat. Mm. Well, Miner says he's got deer to shoot. <laughs> Yeah, I just posted it in the I just posted it in the fucking Telegram chat. Dude, Dear this car, people. these cars like right here fucking like say that those cars are right there with that uh red in that red roof parking uh, in the red roof uh yard. Those are where those cars are at. They're like right there on the side of the street. Meth head steals Domino's card. What uh, the Met oh, oh, I was looking at Something that uh, uh, Cross put, put, put out. Meth head steals Domino's car during delivery in under a minute. <laughs> oh, dude, we used to do that shit back in the day and shit. Fucking what? order pizza, like the three doors. Well, I, mean, I was always a good guy. But, you were stealing cars. Yeah, I got it. That's, 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 that was my go-to back in the day. Fucking. Yeah, I, oh. Would you rather burn in hell uh, or be in the middle of the void and be scared forever? I'd be in the middle of the void. Go and, Send go me to the middle of the void. Hey, I'm not dead. What? Go the stairs, Dad. Oh. <laughs> hey, I, I don't see any video. No, when I, was, when I was like 
Well, I was like 15, 16, 17. That was my go-to, you know what I'm saying? Stealing cars? Yeah. Dude, I had friends that would steal cars, and I, if I knew that something was stolen, like I had certain friends – I just knew if they pulled up in a car, I would never get in it with them. I, was, I, I had <laughs> no, I had no, 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 no. We no, we we'd, we'd get like the the Chevy uh, fifty hundred, uh, the Chevy, um, you know, like when Chevy first came out, like in the um, like eighty eight ninety. Um, they're like the, the fifteen hundred and the twenty five hundred. Man, we'd get a fucking we get thousand dollars a truck, fifteen hundred dollars a truck. You know what I'm saying? We just needed we'd go just go get one car, and that was it. And you know, it went it went from wherever we found it to straight to where it was going. I had I mean, friends that did that shit, and but. Yeah. So I, because I'm a few years younger than than you, the mm. big thing for them was the um, the old uh, Saturns from like the, oh. the early to mid '90s, right? Because yeah. you could start them with like a pair of scissors, but they would steal yeah. all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I would. Yeah. I just was. I never liked when my friends would steal shit, dude. I would yeah. never be involved. I'd be like, no, I don't. You motherfuckers. Know yeah, no, no. Like, like the first time he getting picked up and shit, I, I for like a Grand Theft Auto and shit like that. Um, and like, yeah, that's, that's the last time I, I sold a car, <laughs> but that was like, fucking, I was like, I was like, uh, 18, I was like 18, maybe 19 at the time. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying in my whole life, I never took anything that wasn't mine, but, yeah. but I never like, um, I never took anything major. It would be like a, when I was younger, maybe like a CD or something. Yeah. You know, no, but, but we're, 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 like, so I grew up in Stockton and shit, and like, and like everybody around 15, 16, 17, everyone's catching Grand Theft Autos because that's just that's just the time and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I, that's hey, what uh, I Donnie. Yeah, what up? So this is the announcement they made about the, because I have a full node, and it says the process to onboard to onboard full nodes requires you to be proficient in the following, and I'm not proficient in any of this shit. I don't know if you understand any of that shit. <laughs> like no job. Uh, oh fuck um comfortable working with Clara, but uh uh you should talk to mantrid not me uh -huh. okay yeah yeah because i don't know jack shit about nothing when it comes to that stuff so yeah yeah um i, I would say talk to mantrid that's um, funny that they make yeah. you pay all that money to, to get the full note and then they, they require you to <laughs> <laughs> to like be a well, yeah. This is like yeah. <laughs> to figure it out. Well, see, this is what I'm. This is well, they didn't the warn that I'm you. Trying to point out like, is that, that there is a lot of. No, of course they didn't. They're like, here, just give us your money. <laughs> oh, here's your blueprint. <laughs> this right here, though. This is this is case in point or point in case or whatever the fuck expression <laughs> it is that there is more to crypto than just money. There is an entire methodology behind some of this shit you know i guess wow. yeah they're gonna fail miserably because i bet most of the people don't even don't even know what yeah how to, how to do this shit so that's gonna be interesting i don't know like we'll that see. what i was seeing i don't understand none of it i mean i know how to do master nodes and like this is something totally different than that okay okay but let me ask you something you ran that master node software on linux right on on mm -hmm. ubuntu uh -huh. yeah you had to use the terminal for that. Um, the the what virtual the like console virtual... or the terminal? The, I like, have to use have to type commands, or did you use the mouse to point and click at shit? Uh, most of it. Um, the 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 code that had to be had to be done to set it up. Most of it was done by ADA. Uh, he, ADA did most of that, and then since then. Now I know because it's all in Linux. Um, I've I've learned how to run Linux itself, but and I know some of the codes, but not most of it. Like the important shit, I know. Yeah. So so you still had to do some typing of commands and shit, right? Oh yeah. You, you've basically met the first condition then, you know, already, you know, what they're saying is that you need to know how to like type those commands and use the terminal is like your basic sort of essence, right? Yeah. Um, like knowing how then, to command, how to control it with all those commands. Yeah. Yeah. Like how to bring your node up, how to bring it down again, how to fucking, you know, restart your computer with the command line, shit like that. You know, basic operation of a computer without needing to use a mouse to point and click at buttons that you could type a command for instead. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, so your second one, like your cloud operation services and stuff like that, that's that's somewhat my ballpark, like when it comes to like putting servers online and making websites go places or whatever. 
but but that's actually more specific to like um uh the 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 provider level shit like google and aws like amazon servers and shit so that's like a level above what i do again that's like um, running that shit the way you ran for uh, Wick Hunter and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. There you go. VPSs. Yep, yep. That sort of shit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, cloud operation, VPSs, that sort of thing. Oh, is that um, what cloud operation means? VPS? VPS. And, and okay, that's yeah. Sort of so, like, thinking. yeah. Like mm -hmm. with my master nodes, the ones that I stake, because I can either master node them or stake them. It's different, you know? Right. And, um, when I stake them, that's when it, it's real code intensive. That's when I needed ADA, like a lot for almost everything, because I right. couldn't remember. Like I, for a minute there, there I could remember some of the codes, but then if I didn't do them for like a week, boop, gone because there was so yeah. much. But you'd have to open up like a window and then type a command and then hit enter and it'd do something, right? Yeah, you. I'd have to like okay, go in and terminal. then I. Yeah, there's your console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terminal. I, my terminal, I think, was it was a MOBA X, or is, is that the term? I don't remember. I had... Um, uh, there's, there's there's plenty of different programs out there. It all depends on what flavor of Linux you're using and, and what's actually installed. Um, Bionic Pup is mostly what I use. One oh, that's the, uh, that's the variant of Linux. That's the flavor of Ubuntu. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Ubuntu. He's, that, he used that expression before. Yeah, I I only use that like for development purposes, and then even then, um, I actually use a very stripped back version of that as well. Yeah, okay. yeah, because it was the first one was I think Zen Pup, I think it is, which I'm still running two on that, and then I went to then we went to Bionic Pup for the rest. Yeah, yeah, because there's different releases. There's different. Um, yeah, true, awesome. So yeah, you roughly know your way around that sort of thing. You you just got to get a bit of repetition and practice around it. Yeah, but, yeah, dude. Keeping cool. it keeping it um like in there. That's the hard part because there's so much. When I was watching him do it every day, like because for like a few days he was helping me. It got to the point where I had it all like all this different shit memorized. Like I, I still needed his help on some stuff, but the major shit like seeing if it was running. Uh, resetting like limits on it all this shit you know i had memorized for a while mm. so i could go in there and there were certain codes and if i would forget i would just dm him hey what's the code again for this because i would watch when i was watching him set this shit up i was like do you like have a cheat sheet he's like no i don't need to memorize it like yeah holy fuck. <laughs> There's a lot of that that, um, yeah, once you sort of write it enough times, it does. It sort of sticks in your head. It's like a lot of the code that I write, you know. There's there's a lot that I can just, you know, off the cuff, you know, open up a new file and just start writing a, an entire page, you know. And I don't even need to look at the result of it to, to check what's going on before the file's almost finished being written. You know, because I've, I've done that much of it that many times, so... It's like they say, practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. Hey, Ian J, you there? Ian J, buddy, buddy. Did you guys see that video Ian J posted of his neighbor's house? It's actually super cool. Like, I'm curious what kind of cars those are. Like, are they little European cars or were they like go-karts originally like fancy go-karts pretty neat looking though mm. and it looks like they're all kept up and taken care of that's cool looks like they have it set up there for display reasons which if so that's a cool way to like if you have a big like classic car collection but maybe you don't care it sits out you know, that's a cool way to share it with people. Have it in your yard <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's obviously uh, causing issues. There, there's 233 full node holders, and there's only fucking uh, 22 nodes live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You know, that's... That's marketing. 
That's why now it's important for those that are operating the nodes to start sharing about how they got their nodes operational and start coaching the others that are, you know, holding those positions to get their nodes operational as well. Yeah, this is a new blockchain that you're operating. This is a new blockchain that you're operating a node for, and so now the best thing that you guys can do is work together to get that decentralization happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, but I can't even talk for forty-eight hours in here. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Oh, yeah, they probably do that to everybody for the first time. So they have to ask for outsource for, can you walk me through this? And then after 48 hours, you probably got one of you people to help you a little bit. And they're like, okay, well, you got the beginning started. That's a good start. <laughs> but customer service is going to be like, oh, man. <laughs> Especially if you got 200 people and everybody, you know, signed up in the last day or two. Hmm. Hey Ma, we wrote we we wrote this. Come look, read it real quick. Almost there. Damn. My daughter, she just got quotes for to drive. They're telling her three to four hundred dollars a month in insurance. Oh wow. Yeah. What, kind of, what kind of cars did you buy her, Shane? She bought herself a little Kia Forte. Uh, why did, okay, that shouldn't be too bad though. I mean, she had a couple accidents or something. No, she's a, never driven. Then, oh, it's she's your first a, car, so like first time insurance and stuff like that. Yeah, she shouldn't be that high though. Shouldn't be that high though. Yeah, you probably just keep looking around, bro. Like, you're probably, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I did. You're I told her. State Farm. You might want to go to like a little, a little smaller insurance place, you know what I'm saying? I, well, I go to the local I mean, auto insurance. As much as two hundred, like two hundred a month is a lot, but for her age and and also our state. Well, how old is she? Our, she's eighteen. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. She'll be nineteen no. in in. Uh, how much is your insurance when you're nineteen years old? But your car insurance. State, our state, Nevada, actually. I mean, yeah. it, it has really high insurance rates because the twenty four hour. Like, drink. Like, uh, There's liability. Liability. Yeah. So my insurance is really cheap. Yeah. But I remember being mad because. Uh, I was 18, and they just wanted to give me the good driver's discount. Oh. Because he was 19. Oh, okay. They say if you're not, if you're not, I, I get the good driver's discount. I guess you had to be 19 to get it. So if you're 18 and just getting your license, stuff like that, um, it, they, the first year is always the highest. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I don't know if it's – when I started driving in Nevada, well, even when I was a kid, Nevada was way more expensive than even Cali, only in car insurance – uh, because of the 24 hour drinking. Now, I don't know if that was more, if that was specific to Vegas or the whole state, because like up here too, there's 24 hour drinking. So because of that, we paid higher insurance rates. Hmm. What? Why? I never got my question answered. So same question because she is still here watching. Please explain to her how, say, the DGen coin is nothing like a, a Ponzi-like drip. She said it has Ponzi economics, not fudding at all. Just a real question. Do you want to answer that, Donnie? Uh, what? She's <laughs> what? saying that her friend... Says that our we have Ponzi econ economics, and uh, it and to explain how it's not a Ponzi like drip. Okay, so first of all, uh, it's nothing like drip. Uh, yeah, what we you need to look at way more wheels. <laughs> well, yeah. First of all, uh, it, it's not the uh, DGen coin. It's called Sheep Token. Okay, uh, 
Now, Sheep Token is based on ERC31337, which is a standard of tokenomics created by Rootkit Finance. Now, those those guys are a pseudonymous uh, professional team of coders who have been in the space for a while. And that's uh, one of the reasons why we chose to use their code, is that it was introduced to us by actually uh, several other friendly projects of ours that have had some great success in using it. Now, um, the Sheep token has what we call reusable locked liquidity, it means that basically the more tokens that are burned, okay, there is a way that we can basically reuse the liquidity that is permanently locked in a way to push the floor push the price floor up ways okay now ultimately there's no there's no ponzi at play here you know I, I don't know what i don't know where you get the idea that this is you know that it's anything like a ponzi yeah. so now this person asking too, like she's been watching us for a long time she's not like a shit talker she's not a troll so yeah no I, no for sure so, so, yeah, so what i'm actually you know, going to ask is can you explain then how you think it is you know because honestly, you know, that that's that's my question. You know. What we will have once the ecosystem is complete is the sheep token with X sheep, which allows people to earn from the token and the fees going around. Okay. Uh, does it have downlines? Okay, uh, Sheep Token, no. Having said this, we do have an application known as Woolshed, okay, which does bear similar mechanics to a few daily ROI-style applications. Having said this, there is at no point any part where Woolshed is a compulsive participation aspect, i.e. you don't have to use it to derive any sort of value from the protocol at all. Okay, not a requirement. Okay, um, there are there is a team building aspect. However, it is not the centerpiece, nor is it required to succeed in Woolshed either. It is just one of several mechanic options available. So yeah. The main focus, uh, actually, to further the point is that uh, once you have your sheep token, you put it into X sheep, and X sheep actually delivers better uh, better economics inside of wool shed uh, by increasing the rate at which you earn wool token. So there is only a sheep token. Why does it need other coins like Animal Farm? That's just the way that we've designed it. Why, why don't we go and ask Yearn Finance why they have ST, YCRV, you know, LP, YCRV, and all of those, and ask them why they have all of those coins? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go and ask Compound Finance, you know, why they need C die or, or, or C comp or any of those? Mm hmm. Why does any ecosystem need multiple tokens or multiple contracts? To have his <laughs> hand. Oh, wrong the, answer. The bitch is always coming in here with some fucking off the wall shit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Go to school. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Right. If you don't like it, then don't fucking invest. Go somewhere else. We don't need you. This is for us DGENs. <laughs> Y'all can get the fuck out. <laughs> the whole multiple token thing is probably what gets most people. Uh, and, and again, I honestly don't understand it because if people actually understood what it is that they play in anywhere else in the ecosystem, like I said, compound finance, you in finance. Venus, freaking BZX protocol when that was a thing. All of these things tokenized. Freaking ERC20 at the freaking middle of them all. Jesus. Learn your technology. Shit. 
<laughs> ERC20, 721, 4626. All of these standards. This is Sparta. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, Shane, you see the little cars? Yeah, dude, those are so cool. I got a question, dude. So are are those like real cars or yes, are they like real cars? Real cars. That's right. They weren't like little go karts, fancy nope. go karts, right? Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't mind question. buying the red. I wouldn't mind buying the red uh, convertible or the blue convertible. What are they? What what like? Are They're they like the little. Uh, are they MGs European? or GMs? They're like little MG cars or something oh, like that. They're that American not, brand a, a, that didn't last long. You yeah. Are, no yeah, shit, something, yeah, because I was talking to the son one time because they, they sold one. I said, how does you go for it? It goes about, about $30,000 because uh, someone bought one, and they're hauling up in the back. I say, uh, his, his, on the outside of my fence is, is, is a street, then across the, 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 the across street is, is his wall. And so every, I seen one out there, and I talked to the son, and he's the one telling me about them and stuff like that. But those are lit, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dude, that, that was super cool. And they – it looks like they keep like they take yeah, good they care do. of them, which because I'm thinking like that's crazy they keep those old old cars outside a car collection, but it's also super cool because you if I lived in that neighborhood I would show people all the time I'd be like come check out these cool cars you no know, no no I like say you know I always drive by it and I never stop and shit and like you know I'm stopping a day yeah and then they got like two or three they got like two or three in the middle um, that they're working on still and so. But like I said, I, when I seen that shit, I was like, well, like Mr. Miyagi's in the Karate Kid. How he yeah. went the, you go in the back, he got all the cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, those are cool, man. And and they keep it looks like they keep them in good, fairly good shape. Like they're even though they're outside, they're taken well care of. It looks like. Well, actually, they just put them on the yard not even like three months ago. Uh, they, they had they them all like in the middle driveway. Okay, but still outside? No, no, no. Well, it was outside, but like under a carport, not like okay. directly, you know, not okay, directly. That's in. why they still look so damn good. Yeah. Like I said, they I mean, outside I, very it's well. a cool concept, though, like having them outside in the yard like that, mm -hmm. like showing them off, especially if they're trying to sell them. Yeah, like I said, I think they are. Oh, well, I, I I talked to the son when, they're, when they sold one, so I don't really know how often they sell them, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that, Dude, yeah I, I like that little cool. blue Jimmy Z one or the fucking red convertible. I'll take that motherfucking shit. I'm a little guy anyway. So Yeah, you are, you little fella. Yeah. Oh man. It's maybe, okay, 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 hold on. Okay, because right? You gotta open a slow cause you just it might blow, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. Really? Yeah, it's, it's gonna blow gonna up. Blow up. Uh, my my granddaughter came running to me. Right, open up my sprite and you know I'll shake it up here. Don't do it. Oh. I'll take up the sprite and here open it up. Uh, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. You know how you start just cracking the caps. Wow, dude. So <clears throat> according to Unusual Wells, which is a big you know Twitter thing, mm -hmm. it says. Canada has banned foreigners from buying residential pro property for two years <laughs> per CBC. Non-Canadians with a spouse or common-law partner watch from who is a Canadian one. citizen or permit this resident are exempt from the ban. That's Let's crazy. Check it out. Probably... What is it? Oh. Go to two minutes. Oh, he's got yeah, nice emo music going. Yeah. What is that? Some Taking Back Sunday or something? <laughs> See you later. I think, isn't she from your country? I think she is. I think she's down that down under. She's another one of those actors. Oh yeah, paid actors. Oh, 
Wait, is this the new Domino's car? The, the electric ones? Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> He's all tweaked out. <laughs> Look at his mouth. He's yeah. blowing. Oh, dude, that virtual reality one I sent you earlier, that shit was funny. He's wow. pumping at him. Yep. What'd he say? Damn, he's tweaking hard. Oh, he's tweaking his ass off. What the hell, dude? <laughs> hey, who wants some pizza? <laughs> All right, he's like off roading where he doesn't need to be. Right? Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Hey, because they got those new Domino's um, electric vehicles that are supposed to come driverless or some shit. Oh, Holy shit! Did he get pulled over? Oh my God, I wouldn't be stopping if I did. <laughs> He's tweaking hard, dude. Mm. Holy shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> I just want to ride. Oh, is he is he getting pulled over? I think that's a cop following him. Yep. I think it is. Probably report it, so yeah. So he got yeah. <laughs> He's about to run. He's about to run. He's like, where that pizza? <laughs> yeah, I'll I start eating some food or something. <laughs> well, he didn't even run? Damn. I'd get up the car and run now. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh my god. That is funny. Is he going to get really driving away? No. What? I want to go up that ramp thing. I'm going to go. What the hell just happened? You let him go? <laughs> He's driving. Right. Oh my god! They did not let him go. <laughs> he driving. Maybe, dude. Maybe the fucking the guy hadn't had a chance to report the car stolen yet. Wow! It was so quick. Damn. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, dude! I don't even understand what happened just now, but whatever. <laughs> Dude, Man, just got away with it. Play the game, baby. Play the game. Play the oh, game. As many times as I smoked bad stuff in my life like that, I never did anything stupid like that ever. Yeah. Never. Yeah, I'd go work at the fine dining restaurant, all gacked out. Like, <laughs> wow. I no one would have a clue because I was already so damn skinny. I'd tell my coworkers, be like, "Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I'm a I, dude. I'm." Yeah, I smoked so much before work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Woo! <laughs> We're not mentioning any... any not mentioning what, anything at all. I think you guys can figure it out. <laughs> Probably the same thing that guy was smoking for. Drop two brain cells together. Oh. 
fucking tweaker. See, and I, I never was like that, though. Like, when I did drugs, I never got why people would get all crazy like that. I never let it get a hold of me, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I never got it. That's why when people are like, oh, I, I let, you know, drugs ruin my life. I'm like, you let them ruin your life. There's your choice. Oh. You know, you got to make a choice. I, I can't control that. You can. You just got to do it. That's right. Find Jesus. He'll help you. That too. Hey, you know what? If I even tried telling that to my kids who are like very anti-God and they call me a conservative Christian because I, I believe in God. Um, but like I tell them too, though, like, I, look, I man. sort of say that in the same sort of joking manner, but at the same time, like I have literally seen how, how there have been people down in that fucking, that really deep pit. And then, you know, like that has been the thing that's miraculously yeah. out of it, you know? And like, even if it's, even if it's not real, right. I'm wrong. Say I'm wrong in my beliefs and everyone who believes like me is wrong. But if it makes them, I always tell my kids, but if it makes them want to be a better person and do better and be a better human, what do you got against it? Like, yeah, why exactly. do you care? Like, if, yeah. if you may think it's BS, but if it, if it, whatever it might be, if it makes strives people, because I'm not saying everybody just because you're a Christian, you're a good person, or because you're a Muslim, you're a good person. But no, it most, takes more than that. Most religions, most, not all they strive to be better than what they are. Right. And, and they lean on whether it's God or Allah or whatever they believe, you know, but if it makes them want to be a better person, I think that that's, that's great. Yeah. And I don't, I don't hide the fact thing that, about being a better person. I don't care what religion you guys are. Well, that's why, I mean, everybody knows I, I obviously, my, my beliefs are, are Christian and, but, um, it doesn't, and that doesn't mean that I think someone who's a Muslim that is wrong because as long as they want to be, you know, be a better person. And treat I'm not really no religion, but I think there's good teachings in all religions. Yeah. I, I, in most, yeah. Yeah. In, in, well, in most religions, because I doubt the Church of Satan has any good teachings. Oh, did you hear about that? Uh, the biggest meeting this year in Boston? What? The, what? the biggest uh, say, can, um, ritual meeting in Boston this year? I put it in the chat room. You guys ain't going? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they're having, they're having, they're having the having the, the, the largest satanic um, gathering in Boston this year. It's I'm already on the book. I there. want to say it's the first quarter. I'm glad it's way over there. No, I was just saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, they're doing that. <laughs> I'm not going, but I thought it was like, oh, shit. These motherfuckers are just like straight coming out. And like, yeah, we're here. Because they're, they're practicing, you know, saying they're just like the... The freedom to assemble like during church and that kind of stuff. So now they're, they're really pushing it now. I don't know. I, I, I keep up to date on that kind of shit. I'm sorry. All right. Grab that one. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Look, you, you got a potential. Uh, student there. I don't what, know. Yeah. Someone's asking if you're teaching you coding, teaching classes? coding classes. Uh, uh, not officially. No. Um, I occasionally I find myself in a group chat with a bunch of people, and and if I'm the one sharing my computer screen or talking, then yeah, I'll I'll share code or whatever. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll Donnie, you've always stuff. been you've always been open look, about all that. You see? Yeah, I mean, look, if you want to learn something, I mean, ask me a question. I'll, I'll you know, I'll teach you what I know. But no, this not officially at the moment. I'm far too busy to be teaching people. <laughs> right now, hey, that might be like a good way for you to make a little bit of extra. Um, yeah, income well, because you don't need technically any kind of like. I don't think any licensing or anything to teach people code, right? No, it's literally just tutorial, you know. Yeah, and just besides. like any other 
any other thing that you like, know, like, like it, it's it's look i could make youtube videos about how to do this stuff you yeah know? you don't need a license to make youtube videos that so. might be a, a potential good way for you to make a little extra income you know yeah i mean i, I do like sharing how i do these things and and i do yeah, hold the belief tough. that if, if more people could learn how to do it then then you know crypto would certainly be further along and and the space in general would so why not trying to learn the basics of solidity have no experience oh i'm definitely not your person for that um i'm more of your your intermediate advanced sort of stuff but but if you find yourself in the dgen protocol telegram i will find for you some good beginner resources that i recommend you take a look at okay i'll show you the things that i actually learned from um to teach me the best all right so yeah, in the DJM protocol telegram, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link or two there for you. Yeah. So some random guy sent me some shit and uh I don't know, I just I don't trust anybody. <laughs> he said you gotta you, you have to verify your yeah. node on the multi kit on the multi kit dApps, go to the dApps, click on connect validate and connect your wallet. Uh, it sounds like fucking sounds like I wouldn't tr I wouldn't trust any random person either. Yeah, you're smart in that. Yeah, let me put this in the telegram. I'm just making the... Oh, shit. What up, Morpheus? What's up? See, so, there you go. In, in the chat, What's up, cookies? And you got to call it. And, um, yeah. And the YouTube videos that accompany that. Or if maybe you do get I, stuck in, if you have any questions, you can feel free to DM and, and yeah, but just, you know, I, I'm not doing like ground up from, from like zero experience, you know? Morbius, can I be cookies? Cause like the vanilla wafers, I'm cookies and you're cream. Cause you know, like a nice creamy coffee color. <laughs> <laughs> we'll really switch it up. I, cookies and cream. Uh, okay. Right. Wow. There you go again with the cookies and cream shit, man. I'm telling you, man, it's that's that's cookies and cream, huh? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Jenny says everybody loves cookies and cream. Everybody loves cookies and cream. Uh, why, why don't you call yourself good food and I call myself diabetes? <laughs> oh, that sounds disgusting. Or how about I'm Daya and you're Beaties? <laughs> oh. Cookies and cream will give you diabetes. Cookies and cream are better known as Daya and Beaties. You know, that shit's that shit just fucking... It's all on genetics too, man, because I know people that have drink fucking Coca-Cola three, four, five times a day and no problems at all. I never rotten teeth nothing. I know people yeah, like that. Dude. Yeah, but it's it's diet too. So if you're eating no, good, no, 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 no. I'm no, talking no. about real deal Coca Cola. Okay. Or you know my favorite when I bartended, people would order uh they'd order a bunch of fattening food and then a diet Coke, but they would order it with grenadines like a Roy Rogers, you know. And like I would have people be like diet Coke, but can you do extra grenadine? Like just <laughs> what? Yeah. You just totally defeated the whole purpose, stupid. If you say it's because you can't have sugar, well, you just threw a bunch of sugar in with the grenadine. But my mom's been drinking Coke her whole life, and she she doesn't drink it anymore because it, it doesn't taste like it used to. They've changed it up so much, and now they're, you know, it's called yeah. aspartine in it or whatever the hell it is. 
Yeah, yeah high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. High fructose yeah. The corn other name it goes by is yeah. aspartame. Well, the, the, the only good, the only good Coca-Cola you can get is the glass bottles that come from Mexico. Yeah, because it's made with real sugar. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, well, back when we were growing up as kids, the artificial sweetener they used all the time was saccharin. And when you, when we were kids up until like, the, I think the nineties, dude, you, there was a spot on a Gatorade bottle that said, cause Gatorade had a lot of saccharin in it. Warning. This product is known to cause cancer in lab rats. Mm. And it was the saccharin. Even some of the, the artificial sweeteners were like almost all saccharin. Yep. Well, you know, you know how they, um, you know, the uh, sweet and low or, or one of those uh, equal or one of those sweeteners for co uh, coffee, you know how they fucking created that? Um, I think somebody I was somebody was working in a lab on on some, you know, on something uh, and he misheard his boss. His boss told him to test it and he heard taste it. So the guy fucking tasted whatever it was that he was working on, and it had a sweetness to it. And that's where Splenda or Sweet Low or, or one of those came from. A sweet and Low, I think, was the first one. And that one, that's the one, I think, in the pink, the little pink packaging. Those yeah, are the Sweet Low purple. pink package. Yeah, Equal those blue ones. Yeah. And e yellow is Splenda. Yeah, you're correct. Because, yeah, because we had to have them all, like, uh, what's it called? At P.F. Chang's, we had all three of them. Yeah, yeah. So and that sugar too. You had the sugar yeah. one too, so you now, had to do dude, all. The sweet and low back in the day used to have the same warning about the saccharin that Gatorade uh, did. Yeah, now it I said remember. warning. It's known to cause cancer. So, like they, I mean, they've been knowingly uh, giving us stuff, knowing it caused cancer since we were kids. And you should you should look up American Skittles versus European Skittles. Why? What's the difference? Well, Skittles used to be one of my favorite candies, but I won't touch them anymore now that I realize that the the color coding is made with titanium sulfide or some shit. It's like titanium. It's a, it's outlawed in other countries, but yet we still the Skittles that are made for America still has it. So I've been saying since ever since my COVID last time, like almost two years ago, and stuff still doesn't taste right, and I always complain. I don't know. Do you remember, Jenny? The green, there's something about the green Skittles that tastes just like soda, like most of the dark sodas in Mountain Dew, a burnt chemical flavor. And I taste it only on green. And it would, do you remember, Jenny, when I first did that? Are you talking like, about oh, the green, the green that's candy apple or the green that's now lime I again? Believe, I, I, now that I, I couldn't remember, I believe it was the lime. Um, Cause, Cause, they brought back lime, and the brought back lime tastes like straight fucking chemicals. Yes, yeah. Then that's it. Because I was, yeah, because I was bummed out. Because I liked the green apple ones. I didn't. I liked the original lime. I was so upset for so long when they got rid of that. Yeah, it, it's been what's well, been in the last, you know, la this la last year in 2022. So it was the lime. Y'all really debating candy now, right now. Oh man, I love this, but this candy was the best. Yeah, well, well it's 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 fucking shit for you. I don't I don't eat it anymore, but I'm telling you, Skittles used to be my favorite, man. Candy will kill when candy kills. <laughs> man, I used to buy a fucking pack of fucking uh, Twizzlers and eat every single one of them till my stomach hurt uh, <laughs> at yeah. all the time. Yeah. See, Have you tried any of the other flavored of Twizzlers other than, than the original? I mean, kind of, but the original are the best to me, you know? Yeah. Raspberry. No, and the best the Twizzlers raspberry. are the ones that you buy in the big in the big box that come yeah. individually wrapped. Yeah. They're all fucking I like fresh. the original ones. Uh, I just tried when we went and saw Avatar 2. I got these. They're like berry, like a, a, which they're not bad, but they weren't that great either. They don't have like Twizzlers used to have a stronger flavor, I feel like, than they do nowadays. Like the flavor's gotten like uh, more mellow, like over the years. In Dude, a bad I haven't, way. E I haven't eaten any candy in like months, which is not bad. Actually, I, I don't know if I could say that. I got to really rethink that. Yeah, you're. No, I've had I've had like Tootsie Rolls and shit. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm lying. I've had Tootsie Rolls. I'm... So, you, so your boyfriend's name is Tootsie Rolls, what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
We all had a few Tootsie Rolls in the bathroom at the... Uh, I just could never imagine what it's like to live in fucking gay town 24-7 like Shane does. Uh, <laughs> you live in California. Hey, 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 hey. Not on stream, yo. Come on. What? Not on stream. Yeah, Cali boy. That's how we're getting strikes and shit, man. Come on. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, what are you guys doing? And hey, hey, Rhino called me uh, the G word. The G word. Ugh. Hey, Rhino, how many three series do you got? Hey, hey, uh, Donnie, though. Donnie. You won't answer. Do Donnie, about what I said, though, you know, there's probably 50 million independent fact checkers who would agree with my statement. So I think we're okay. Why? There's probably 100 million, and when they saw your car collection, <laughs> would agree with mine. They see your. They what see was your GPS just said? Do I have to worry about my channel getting struck again? What was just said? Nothing. No, no, nothing. He didn't say anything that bad. Was he it just... bad? Was it that bad or what? No, no, no. no, no it was terrible. Right. Okay. All right. Well, just chill on the shit, guys. Yeah, he didn't say anything that bad. Yeah, no, we're all good. We're all good. It's okay. On with the show. How many three series do you own, though, Rhino? Now seven or eight? <laughs> I lost count, actually. <laughs> oh, you huh? know exactly how many. I knew he was going right back to it. I'm waiting for no, it. No, I'm just saying that it. says <laughs> that says all that we need. Anyone needs to say. <sighs> the answer to that question is six. I thought you had seven. Now, how many how many cars total do you have? Not trucks, just your BMWs. Uh, eight. Nine, eight. So you have eight BMWs. That includes your track car, and then two trucks. Ugh. Correct. That's ridiculous. But it also includes the shell that I picked up. That's caged. That's not even a full car yet. Oh, you did buy that? I thought you weren't going to buy that. Oh no, I bought it. That cage alone was worth two or three grand. The car shell alone was worth one or two grand, and I picked up the whole thing for one. I thought you were going to buy that from that weirdo guy and he changed his mind on you or something. No, that was a complete M3 for 15 grand or like 20 grand. All right, but, I'm off here, guys. See you later. All right. But when uh, Furio did what Furio did, I was like, yeah, can't afford that no more. <laughs> so that was not a that wasn't a track car then that was just another street legal car no that was gonna be the white that was gonna be a white daily driver m3 i've never even had a amount of that, that amount of power in a three series i really wish i could have got that car but wait, wait how are you gonna buy that m3 for 15 grand which seems reasonable when you paid 60 something for your other one and said should have been 100 and something see where i'm going here <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> only t only uh only like ten years difference between the two cars too. What Make year was that? Sense, but the new one was yeah, two thousand four. But I felt oh, like the guy that was selling it was, was was not being honest with everything wrong with it, you know what I mean? It had a, it needed a lot of work. So I was buying it for twelve, but then it needed, you know, like eight grand worth of work immediately. And it just it seemed didn't seem right to me. Huh. Especially after he sent me pictures of it and then and then uh and then tells me, oh, but those aren't the wheels you're gonna get. And I'm like, well then why the fuck why'd you send me pictures with those wheels on it then? Oh yeah, I remember that. A week ago. Yeah, that is fucking lame. You know, I yeah, I, 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 I the cool looking wheels and be like, oh but you're not gonna get those. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Check out these cool wheels, which I'm not giving to you when you when you buy the car. Right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, man. Now nah, I don't want to buy your car. Eat a dick. Yeah. You didn't go that far, did you, Eric? Yeah. And then I'm like, well, what wheels am I getting? And you showed it to me, and, and they all kind of needed to be refinished and shit. And I'm like, yeah, no, no. I can spend twenty grand on a vehicle and then still need wheels for it, and insurance yeah. and registration and smog and. You know, the whole fuck that. Got enough problems. The whole shebang, bang, bang, bang. My blue BMW, I tried to start it today for the first time in like a week, and it was belching out white smoke, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, oh, it's just a crusty old 3 Series. Yeah. Oh, wow. Speaking of belching out white smoke, I'm going to catch you guys later. Uh, All right. 
Johnny's gonna Peace. go belch out some white smoke. All right, right. Good time. Yep. Delinquent Donnie. <laughs> Delinquent Donnie. Delinquent. Oh shit. So yeah. Uh, I'm on my way to go get something that'll become white smoke. The bell check out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that white smoke will, will be mighty thick and reek of the devil's mm. lettuce. Will it not? You ever heard the term attitude adjuster? That's what it is. Uh -huh. 100%. Repent now, Eric. Repent. The Lord will have mercy on you. You don't need all that devil's lettuce, sir. Hey, the second page of the Bible says that he uh, he made every seed bearing plant for us. So I picked yeah. enough picked enough seeds out of weeds to know that that's a seed bearing plant. <laughs> right. <laughs> Especially yeah. if you were around in the freaking eight in the nineties or, or earlier. Yeah. It yeah, was, I, used to, I used to go down and stick. I used to go down to San Diego and pick up a pound for 200 bucks that was the size of a fucking a PH. You know what I mean? We lost you. The that square, that small, a VHS cassette tape, like wow. an old movie yeah. before DVDs movie. I, I know. Like I that's, the, that's the size it was, you know? And then you'd, you'd break off a little chunk of that thing and throw it in a Ziploc in a Ziploc bag, and it would take up the bottom corner of the bag and sell it to somebody as an ounce. They're like, "That's not a fucking ounce." And uh, you're, and I'd be like, "Break it up, just break it up." And they'd start breaking it up, and it'd fill the whole bag. They're like, "What the hell?" <laughs> yeah, it was all compacted and dirt weed. Yeah, Sixty percent seeds, though. Sixty yeah. percent seeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I remember having like quick ways to get rid of seeds. I'd like get like a a pan and I'd hold, you know, I'd hold it at an angle and then like take like a, a piece of paper, like a business card and just keep doing this, pushing the pile of weed up. And then the, the seeds would roll out and then push it out and the seeds would roll out. I had a whole fuck. I had a whole like way. Yeah, there's, a, there's this wooden device that you could make. Uh, it's all like got a glass, glass window and stairs and shit. You put a vacuum in it and you like, dump your weed in it and uh the seeds go one way and the weed goes another way kind of cool yeah but i haven't had seeds and weed in ages yeah hey well thanks for tuning in man sorry you, you couldn't sleep and now you you got caught somehow listening to us but <laughs> he'll be he woke up, no it's a nightmare he's like wait a minute what the hell am i hey, watching these damn americans <laughs> bunch of bloody yanks <laughs> bunch of bloody yanks they're complaining about uh a damn queen and where in uk doing... are you craig if you don't mind me asking my my mother is originally from luton Luton, huh? Uh huh. It's a shithole. But my family left there in what the fifties, mid to late fifties, and then it became a real shithole. It's kind of like um, I don't know what's the best way to say it without sounding offensive. It's 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 kind of ghetto nowadays, the people there, but it's um different than like the ghettos of America, you know, like different minorities. Yeah. Um. But all they people would say all they had there was um soccer team and and an airport. And people nowadays are like, oh, they barely even got that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess nowadays there's like gangs and, sh and there's like it's a, not a very safe area anymore. Hmm. 
Well, no place is safe anymore. Not these days, Taylor. Yeah, see. You know, Luton is rough. It's the British Bronx. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. I don't know. The, the, the county where Shane just bought some land in, their sheriff says if you find a catalytic converter theft in your property and you shoot them dead, the chances of them repeat offending is zero. <laughs> Word for word, that's what the sheriff of uh, that county said. Well, he's um he's no longer sheriff, by the way. Oh damn it! Well, he didn't run this last year, but his under sheriff—that's who we were hoping would take his place—and that guy lost the, the the jerk, like the the like militaristic extremist guy is the one who actually won because he was talking about if he became uh if he became sheriff of that county. That when ver when um what's it called street vibrations that big biker thing that they do in Virginia City, uh, he wants to have gang task force out there and K nine units and like, you know what I mean? Instead of like already as it is, there's heavy cop presence there, but everybody gets along. The cops would come to us if they had an issue, like maybe one of our people was standing in the street too much or crossing. They would come over to one of us and be like, "Hey, can you talk to your other guys for us?" You know, and just kind of let them know to watch out or like some of the girls flashed and uh, they didn't get arrested. You know, they came and told us, Hey, stop. There's, there's kids. Make sure they don't do that. You know, but these yeah. other, the, so that's the way that the, the, the old sheriff was a lot more chill. You know, he wanted, yeah, he came up to us, all of us and like shook all of our hands, like, you know, and was like, Hey, thanks for coming out guys. And, I'm um, glad, you know, glad you guys are the, the new one's going to treat you like a fucking nuisance, even though you're bringing business yeah. to the count. Yeah, the new the one city. is going to give us a hard time. He's going to treat us like criminals, whether he knows who we are or not. And he's going to run it very more like militaristic, you know, as opposed to the if the under sheriff would have won, he even said, I want to keep it just like the sheriff has done the last however many years the guy was sheriff, you know, because that's yeah. the guy who taught him. Yeah. You ever follow Daily Driven Exotics on YouTube? Um, I've watched it, but I can't remember. I, they're not one I watch a lot. Well, they uh, they just went to like a car show down in San Diego, and and uh, there's only a one way road leaving the car show, and there's like three biker cops fucking waiting there, pulling people over. Like they're they're going after everybody in like the car culture now here. Like, wow. so if you have, like, they pulled them over for an excessively loud car and it was a stock Lamborghini, huh. like, I mean, you know, and they weren't even being crazy. They were just fucking putting down the road at the speed limit in third gear. Like they were really not even doing anything. Wow. And, uh, yeah, hundred percent. So all of us have lived in Nevada at some point and that's how, we all kind of interconnect through our lives and living in Las Vegas, actually. But now we all three of us, we all live in different areas now, all three different states. I live in Nevada still, but I live up north now. But and he's gone. But yeah, he we're said all, and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're dude. So I just seen this thing in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe how big of uh, you know, softies their police were. It was this little blonde girl, not bothering anybody, just standing, just standing on the side, like on a street. She was, it turns out she was standing in front of a, um, a clinic. You know what kind I'm talking about? The kind that, that I don't care for. Mm -hmm. um, so she was standing out not bothering me, just praying, right? Silently, not even out loud. And the police officers come up to her and they say, what are you doing? And she, they said, are you praying? And she said, I might be praying in my head. And um, <laughs> they, they arrested this girl, handcuffed her, took her bobby pin out of her hair. Like, is she this topic she approved? No, no, yeah, this is nothing bad. No, I'm not in the UK, and they arrested her. I don't know what happened. I don't, but they arrested her and took her to the station, and then she didn't fight them at all. She was no n zero aggression, zero uh, disrespect. 
I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the heck? I, I, I think I, here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Okay. I would, you know, would think I, I, it would be cool if they took all the guns away from American cops and, and made them, made them get on like them, them, uh, them bobbies in England. <laughs> See how long they last. Cause ain't nobody who, <laughs> who doesn't really want to be a cop going to be a cop from that point out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bobbies, that's one thing they do to, to have the balls to, um, I mean, nowadays they're more of them, they carry guns a lot more, but like for when we were growing up as kids and, and before our generation, mm. they had their little billy club and, right, and, there, right. and criminals were running around with guns, dude. Right. <laughs> like you had to really. Yeah, but they got that billy, they billy club to your ass, though. You got oh, a yeah, billy club. Oh, yeah, that you billy club. Broken hand, head. broken leg, broken jaw. You think billy, yeah. But I mean, could you imagine like the balls on those guys? And they always sounded as, probably as polite as hell, you know? <laughs> Man, you know, you had to really want to be in law enforcement in, in the UK in that time frame. Way more, uh, probably way more dangerous than being an American cop. Oh, well, here's the thing. It's like that video I shared with you, where where the where the cop is, is is rousting the dude. He's just harassing him for being on his bicycle. There's no fucking traffic. He's saying you're on the wrong side of the street with your bicycle. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Okay. Yeah, they told me on the side of the road. With traffic and then, going, not coming though. I mean, that then, that is a law. But is that a law, or is that just yeah. kind of like? Because uh, I know, like we, I always have been. Can you ride your car on the wrong side of the road? No. The first no, off, first off, just, he wasn't riding when he caught the guy. The guy was just uh, sitting on his bike, and he's like, "Can you get off? Get off the bike!" And the guy, the, the guy on the bike, is obviously mentally ill, and, and he, he called himself the Antichrist and all kind of stupid what? stuff. The guy was he wasn't all there. Okay, I sent this video to Shane. Then the guy gets all pissed off. He said, "You guys keep harassing me," and then he huh? tries to ride off. And, and the cop just runs up and pushes him off the bike. Okay, he comes up and pushes him off the bike. Mm. Then, then, because uh, he got pushed off the bike, he pulled out his knife, and the cop pulled out his baton, but then just shoots him fucking three times and kills him. No, I just put the refrigerator. No, don't be. You better throw, clean up your mess. I tell you guys, I almost got, a, I almost fucking died in a car accident the other day. Fucking, wow. uh, there was this this white car, this, this white car, this black car, flew by me at like a uh, hundred miles an hour. Uh, I was doing about seventy, and it was raining like pretty bad. They were racing on the highway, and the and the ground was soaking. You know, you didn't have a lot of traction to begin with, and. Um, <laughs> I, I start coming around the, uh, this corner about maybe a mile up and um, I almost hit something in the road. And then next thing I know, I see that white car just fucked up and a couple other vehicles all fucked up on the side of the road. You know, I'm like, Oh shit. You know? And then I kept, I kept uh, going and maybe two, three miles later um, I come up upon another accident, which was like eight or nine vehicles and it was that other vehicle. And, uh, dude, there were fucking people laying in the fucking street and shit and on the highway. It was fucking bad by the time oh, I got man. into it. Yeah. You know, and I, and I felt like a dick for not stopping, but I can't fucking stop on the highway like that. It was like, yeah, oh, you're not going to be any good. It was all, it was all fucking um, foggy and shit. And I'm just like, dude, yeah. what an idiot. No, I'm what happened? Idiots. What happens between like here and in, in, in Yuma is like about fifty miles down the road. It's fucking the the migrants are running across the freeway and, and getting hit by the cars and shit. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. My, my my friend actually hit uh, hit a uh, hit three people. Him, his wife, and his daughter and uh, his 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 newborn were in the car. The daughter's probably about maybe like eight years old, and the newborn's like like a uh, year and a half. And, um, yeah, there's three people running across the freeway, and uh, he accidentally hit him and shit, doing, like, 70, 80 miles an hour. Do you guys have those signs on your freeway down there like they do in San Diego? 
Oh, uh, the, the, the um, I think I think they're putting them up now. I think they're putting up now. To be honest, well, like yeah, three people holding hands crossing. Yeah, yeah. Like that was mom, a joke back in the eighties. That was a joke back in the eighties. That was like a joke meme. That they, but they really had them in San Diego back in the eighties. No, oh, did they? I, yeah, well, dude. Like I say, because I started, I was like, oh, I thought that she was like, oh man, you know. No, I knew what I meant, but like you know, it was I thought like, like a dad, joke. dad, mom, and then like a little kid, a little girl behind yeah. them with a, with a suitcase in their hand or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey. That was real. I I seen them, dude, one time. So it had to been like 1990 or 1991. My dad and I we were going to Tijuana to watch his racehorse out at Caliente Racetrack. Yeah. And yeah, right, after, yeah. right after we seen I have friends that have horses there. That race horses there. Is it still a race? They still race down there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. big time, big time fucking Mexican mafia there. Big time cartel shit. Well, not only that, but it would be like um it's like world class racetrack. No, no, I'm, yeah, dude, I'm but saying it about was cheap. It was cheap to to train and board because I asked my dad, I mean, even as a kid, we were from San Diego. I'm like, why? Why do you want it? He would bring her up um, mm. to race at uh, Del Mar as well. But he would say, he would tell me, so for her to be at Del Mar for the week or two weeks, whatever it is that they have to be there leading up to the race, for her to be there and then and with her trainer and blah, 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 was really, really expensive as opposed to just keeping her in Tijuana unless they wanted to bring her up to, because he lived in Ramona. Do you know where that is? Ramona or Pomona? Ramona. Uh, I heard of it. It's near like San Marcos, Escondido, like North County area. Yeah, I know Escondido is that. Do you know where Mount Julian is or Julian? Yeah, Mount yeah, Mount? I know where Mount Julian. So, Ramona's right next to it. Oh, so, okay. um, like he would have his horse up there. Other than that, it would typically be in Tijuana because of the. I mean, it was just cheaper. Everything was yeah. cheaper there, and we would go down there. And my dad's horse would like he had a couple of them, but one of them specifically that raced a lot. That thing, I was in the winter circle so many times, dude. Look at nice. that. Up. Yeah, look, uh, the pictures, you know, like I, I was a short, fat kid and I had my Dodgers hat on all low and my freaking MC Hammer pants. I remember on one of the pictures, I had the MC Hammer pants up to probably like. Your dad's probably dad embarrassed of you. <laughs> oh, dude. Your dad was it a shame this shit. Oh, God, he got them damn pants on. It was my son. I had my Hammer pants on, bro. I remember in one of them. One of the winter circle pictures, I remember, dude. I was like, I had on my because back then I was at LA Dodgers and 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 Raiders. yeah, dude. They, they, and, hey, honestly, dude, when I was living in Stockton, um, I, a Dodgers jacket, dude. That's I mean, that's why they try to jump me so much, but yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, especially up there wearing that, yeah, dude. Like, they could, <laughs> like, say, I, I lived in Merced until fifth grade, and then, then fifth grade, I moved to Stockton, and the Dodgers thing, screams. Freaking, uh, yeah, you don't belong up there. Yeah. Because it says it's L.A., it's blue. Yeah, yeah exactly, dude. And so, you know, yeah. I, I know that. I know the the, the the culture, yeah. I know why yeah. that would not be acceptable in Stockton. Yeah, no, yeah. but see, what happened was, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, when I moved there, you think know, like, all my friends were, like, uh, fifth grade, sixth grade, and, and seventh grade, I moved to Sacramento. But when I came back, you know what I'm saying, I saw the friends from, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Prior, because I moved back to the same area, so like that. But I don't know what happened. Like, like that seventh grade summer between, uh, you know what I'm saying? Seventh grade and eighth grade, everyone thought they were gangbangers. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man. And he's from down south. And, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But I say, I watch this 209 times now. Stockton is tore up. Stockton is messed up right now, flooded. Fucking, I feel good. I had no clue it was like that bad over there right now. Well, let's check where the storm is uh, coming out. California can't get a break, man. If they ain't on fire, they being flooded. If they Dude, not being flooded, I, they got. Hey, I'm in California. I'm, the, the I'm, I'm perfect. Next I'm perfect. Is the earthquake. Wait for it. <laughs> Think about yeah. it, getting on beachfront property. The yeah, more right. liberal California gets, and the more I mean, you can call me crazy, but the more against God's <laughs> will and God's law that California gets. The more and more it burns and it floods and it and it has all these natural disasters. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong. causing that, and I'm I'm not acting like I know. I could be wrong, but, but 
but they but we all know we're overpopulated. You know, they said for us to to stay um to keep the earth, you know, saying to feed everybody on here, we need five more earths our size. You know, saying we're way over fucking populated. Uh, you, or you, you really, 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 you think so? You know how much empty fucking desert there is out there? Yeah. Really, you're too overpopulated, ENJ. Quit fucking drinking the Kool Aid, you fucking asshole. From the world, uh, I thought get rid of. I thought get rid of the ugly people. Are you dying to eat bugs, you big dummy? Yeah. Really, you dying to Just eat quit. fucking? I live in desert, bro. Hey. I, I, I'll eat snake. Hey, Yo. encourage, encourage I'll you. You want to do your part? Roadkill. Encourage <laughs> then your your offspring not to have any more offspring. You got enough grandkids. Oh, my son! Right? My son already got fixed. My my youngest son's fixed he got, and he got gone to want no kids. Grandchildren talking about we're fixed? overpopulated. Oh, the one that has two. The one yeah. that has two. Okay, that's how he got fixed. Okay, because I, I know got, um, I got fixed after him. So after his second one, he goes, "I want a boy and girl." And he got fixed. Yeah. Um, mother one, they, I think my other son smoked too much uh, Bammer weed, and he's just sterile. No, nah, that's what he thinks till one day. He's like, yeah, I'm sterile! And he's like, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. A year later, she's pregnant. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm higher power been, 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 been answering my prayers, and so I said, man, please don't get her pregnant. Please don't get her pregnant. I don't know how many times I've been praying about that one. Please don't get her pregnant. Please don't get her pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, just... you didn't want to be the the, the grandpappy of the ratchet kid. Oh man, baby's uh, kids. My my, uh, my son's kind of like my mom says. Like you know, I was kind of like um, always like trying to be like save the damsel in distress and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, do whatever the fuck. Save yeah. they call it. You know what I, mean? I just trying to get some pussy and shit. You know how it is. You know, you, you sit on the phone for hours and shit. Like you know, get some pussy. Like hey, so uh, you know. So. I know I don't I don't understand that. My, my, my you know, time, I be, no because well, I'm not well, when I grew up we had we, we didn't have cell phones we had yeah, no, we, had, we had we had a phone with a cord on it and it would stretch like twenty five feet. That's what I was gonna say. We would just <laughs> like we would just send them a DM on on MySpace, you know, in, in my day. Hey, you say what? <laughs> I had a cordless phone. I had the one with the big antenna on it and everything. Yep. yep. I had the cordless phone. Well, my mom worked for Pac yeah. Bell and shit. And so we had the kind of plugged into the wall. And then we had the cord that went along with it. My mom wasn't going to spend $29 on a cordless phone. Oh, dude, you get this my, phone right here for $5.99. Yeah, well, my stepdad Ooh. wouldn't let us get a cordless phone. And he said one reason was because he didn't want me having it in my room the whole all the time. Yeah. You know? Being a kid, so yeah. and he wouldn't let me have a phone in my room. So my mom knew I did it. But when he wasn't home, mm -hmm. I one night, one day, I fished a fucking phone line from the living room under the carpet to my room. Right, so he wouldn't even know. Well, you put and a splitter. You put like a little splitter, multi jack. No, I didn't. No, I didn't even do that in case he ever looked and been like, "Why is there a splitter?" You know, and it set something off. So I would only plug, like I'd switch them. When I wanted to, use, only when I knew I wanted to use the phone in my room, you know what I mean? Uh, and because uh, he he almost would never touch that phone, anyways. Mm -hmm. So um, so I did that, dude, and I fished this freaking phone line to my room. Like I only had to run like maybe like three to five feet of carpet, like oh, underneath. But I figured out how to fish it. Like I took a freaking coat hanger. I was like thirteen, probably <laughs> mm -hmm. 13, 14, but. Yeah. I had my secret phone in my room that my stepdad didn't know about. Nah. Okay, I didn't have a phone in my room, right? Um, but I say, I lived in the guest house in the back. The phone was um, behind the bar. Uh, so I had my guest house, like my son's room, I had my guest house, and then we had a, a barbecue pit, and then we had a fully stocked bar, um, you know what I'm saying, and then bar stools, stuff like that, and then we had the bathroom, and there were the two changing rooms. So I didn't have a phone in my room, but if I wanted to use the phone, I had to go, I had to, go to the bar, which is like uh, 10 uh, feet, 12 feet from my front door. My room. alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so I was always at the bar. Well, no, I, I really didn't. I didn't start drinking until I was like 22 years old because my dad was an alcoholic, so I didn't drink. Huh. Well, then what happened? Um, I, um, I don't know if I can move down south and if I can hung out with some friends and started going to strip clubs and started drinking and I, I, I don't know, just well you yeah, went I, to, I, strip I, to strip clubs hanging out, so you ain't gotta drink no more. Perfect. 
I drink a lot less. A problem for you in 2023. Yeah, I drink a lot less. Like say, you know, um, yeah, my favorite drink was like Sky Vodka because you could drink it straight. You know, say no hangover, no nothing, and stuff like that. So that was my that was my shit. But like I said, I didn't start drinking until like y'all 20, 21 years old. So what's up, Morpheus? So what's up, EJ? Dude, I, I'm loving this pink lemonade weed. It, it's tripped me out, dude. I've been smoking it for like four days now, and I can still taste like that that lemonade, you know, what I'm saying on my tongue. Like, dude, I'm loving this weed. I've had uh, a pink lemonade before. I wonder if it's the same. Yeah. Uh, you know. Listen, the whole uh, fruity, different little, you know. No, no. Mm, mm. There's not. There's to me. There's not very many weed that actually has like flavor to them. Like, like I love, I love platinum mimosa, and I'm starting like this lemonade. You know what I'm saying? It's not as strong as the platinum mimosa. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because when you smoke the platinum mimosa, you can actually feel like the little bubbles inside. That well, at least I can, because we you know that's it, we normally get that's so full of crap, dude. Huh? You're yeah. full, dude. The platinum mimosa hey. is fucking. That flavor is like nice. He's a, like, I know a lot about wine, and I've like, and, and I only I have my level one sommelier, and and come on, a lot of it's bullshit. They're like, oh, I t I taste freshly freshly picked blood. No, no, no. But you know, like you drink some champagne, with, you, with you, a little, you taste a double. You taste a bubbly. A little hint of pepper and blackberry with what is that? Dude, Mark. I. Hey, hey, I hate when motherfuckers do that kind of shit. Like, oh, like they say, oh, here, have have a free dab of weed, and they try to tell you everything that you did to your fucking wax and shit. Like, oh no, you did this. You used you used this bro. Bro. use this sport soil. You did, you know, like, blah, blah, blah. bro. <laughs> like I understand, like when the wine shit, because I I wanted to. You know, talking about weed. Talking about weed, you know, not I wine. Mean, you know, but there's people the same way, and like my oh, yeah. like that with like wine, like a, a lot of like. And yeah, I, that, I went because I was gonna, I was looking at becoming a master sommelier at one point, but I was like thinking I master always master of being gay. Oh, what? It's a fucking six figure a year job. You wouldn't. It's called a job. You wouldn't understand. So you get paid, <laughs> or you get paid to go do something. Um, oh. but, but like I would listen to all these. Like I'd be in my classes and like the way they'd explain the wine in my head, I'd be thinking wait 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 bullshit. Like okay. Peppers, okay. Sometimes you can get a little peppery. Sometimes you can taste like, uh, you know, you can taste fruit. Yeah, it's made out of fucking grapes. You know, <laughs> like no, my my first wife's uh, brother was uh he sold he sold wines and, and champagne and stuff like at, at like a I want to say like you know, I guess a high class liquor store and shit. You know, what I'm saying I, you know, but. He made good money. You know, so he get, he'd get like fucking like a thousand dollar bottles of, of wine or champagne, fucking for like you know, saying Christmas it, bonuses and stuff like that. That would yeah. go around selling to like different stores and restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I almost got into that when I was leaving the restaurant industry because those guys, if they're good at it, they yeah. make a lot. And I already was, I already was a mixologist. I already had my level one sommelier. I bartended for years. So like I had a lot of the knowledge. Yeah, like, a lot of one-on-one -on -one experience. Bro, a lot of this stuff. With a bunch I of men. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, the thing, though, is like I would tell I you all, for that. <laughs> I can explain to you all kinds of why. Oh, the blah, blah, blah. It's down all fancy in my head. I was thinking bullshit, 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 bullshit. But I could explain it and sell it to you. Or or oysters. I could. I never ate oysters. Yeah. I've eaten them like once or twice in my life ever, unless they're cooked. Not raw oysters on a half show. No. Not one time oysters on a half shell, and um, but I could t explain to you all the flavor profiles. He well, said was, all the flavor profile. Come on, say, say it even gayer than that. You know, and you people would be like, "Jeffrey, get the list. Let me make sure I don't miss nothing." All the flavor profile. Yeah, well, we had that's what it was. Was whenever we would get a new, uh, a new oyster, a new type. The the chef would go over. How many like, types of oysters are there, Shane? A lot. 
I don't know a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. PF Chang tried to tell me that. They're like, they're like, you can't sell it if you don't like it. I'm like, bullshit. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I probably sold hundreds of thousands of dollars in in oysters in my life working in that industry and I yeah. never ate them. Yeah. I, Me too. I'm, not a, I'm not an oyster person, not a seafood person, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, some type of seafood. I like some type of seafood. Not some, all some type. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah I don't like it's okay. Sea bass is okay. Sometimes uh, I like actually going fishing. Uh, like when I went fishing in Idaho and caught rainbow trout and grilled that up, like on the spot, oh, yeah. that's different. You know, that's yeah, I, I like, I like scrimp and scrimpers. But, I like oyster Rockefeller, but that's a that's cooked. Um, what do they put on it? I can't even remember. What do they put like Parmesan or um, is it hollandaise sauce? I don't remember exactly what's in it anymore. It's been so long, but we would have that, and I would eat those that the oysters on a half shell um, because Boy, they're cooked. Oh, dude, that's that's fucked up, dude. So you're the one who killed the Ninja Turtles, huh? Shit. <laughs> he said oysters on a half shell, not turtles on a half shell. Oh my bad. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't eat them. Yeah, but yeah, dummies. <laughs> they, on a half shell. That's when they shuck them open, and then they just you just get this raw big old booger, and you're supposed is, to just. Is, is it? Is it? Well, you, that's why you're supposed to cook them. The fuck all I eat. Well, that's why I I will eat them if they're cooked. Yeah, smoked oysters I, are the bomb. Yeah, you know, yeah, I've had yeah, that raw oysters. shit. That raw shit, I'm not fucking with. No. Yeah, dude. you're right. I've had I've had smoked or um. Like I, I eat clams and mussels and you know, cause it's cooked, you know, but I'm not a fan. Not only that, just the, the texture of a yeah, it's it's like, fucking snot, dude. Yeah. It, yeah. To. It's like you took, I've had girls compared to mouthfuls of other stuff. And I was like, it is a lot. I was ever going to tr- fucking eat oysters. You ruined it now, dummy. But uh, cause I was like, Oh, it reminds me of like a, like a booger, like a big old, like, when you like are sick and it's just all starting to break up, and you get that mouthful. You're like, Rrr. that's yeah. what oysters remind me of, dude. Yeah. And then the a smoked has- oysters, smoked oysters are the best thing on the planet. Well, please. because that they're, they firm up, they don't have that. Yeah, they firm up, and then uh, you know they they taste all good. They're not runny. Mm. They're they're delicious. Yeah, and they're super fucking healthy for you, believe it or not. All the chromium and vanadium in there. You know, you eat enough of them. If you ate them every single day. You'd grow your hairline back, Shane. That's right. You'd grow I your hairline if you back. Grow, right? If you eat shit like that every day, every every day, I thought you can get like mercury poisoning from. Uh, uh, yeah, but you got other stuff that can flush that shit out, though. If you're eating that yeah. every day, like say you're putting it in a salad, you're eating all good, healthy shit, fresh vegetables, grown in your own garden, not sprayed with pesticides. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. mean. Joseph, have you ever done any kind of that, any type of fishing like that, like oysters or mussels or clams or anything? Yeah, because I know we used to deal with a lot of them from the Puget Sound, which is, you know, that's the Washington area. But then we would always, we'd always try and have at least one or two oysters at any given time at at this one or a couple of restaurants I worked at. Um, Though we would try and have West Coast and East Coast, both, because Apparently, just the water temperatures or whatever this, the maybe that's the solidity of the the water. Uh, they're supposed to that alone makes them taste worlds different. They say, and then different parts of just even the Puget Sound. If you're on this part of the Puget Sound versus that part of the Puget Sound, uh, they're supposed to taste different. Yeah, well, you know, over there in the Puget Sound area. Uh huh. <laughs> Next, next to your friends over there and pulley up. <laughs> yep, yep. Hmm. Fo- following their uh, their volcanic evacuation routes. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I bet you could probably Google some, like uh, volcano, like a, you know, fo- photo of it. Oh, I'm sure, no doubt. It's not like it's a secret. Fuck, it's freaking road signs. Oh, I'll never forget the first time I saw that. I'm like, we're going by, I'm on my bike, and I'm like, did that just say volcano evacuation? No. No, it didn't. That's exactly what it said, sir. I was watching, waiting for more signs, and then I saw one from far away coming up, and I'm like, and there was a guy riding next to me, and and I point at him like, look, look. 
because we're both on bikes and then the people in the car behind me, I tell them, look, and not, not everyone he saw because he was on a bike too. So, you know, he doesn't have that block and he saw it at the stoplight. I was like, did you see that? Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's not unsettling. Hmm. Oh, dude. So you know what I'm talking about? Like, or do you guys just not even pay attention and notice how you guys have all those, uh, like volcano evacuation route signs? Cause, uh, I, I stayed there and Puyallup. Yeah, that's what it is. Puyallup. Puyallup. <laughs> Thank you. But, um, blah, blah, blah. but I stayed there in this really nice Airbnb, um, a couple years ago because i used to have to go to seattle at least once a year for motorcycle club events so i like that little town though it was quiet and difficult to say <laughs> quiet and difficult to say huh? okay yeah people would be like oh where did you go where are you guys staying because usually we get like a hotel in like tacoma or or closer to, to into seattle mm. and uh I tell them I'm staying in the pull up, pull up. <laughs> they, up. And they knew what I was trying to say because they'd laugh. And they'd laugh. And they'd, like, and they'd say right. it the right way. And I'd be like, yeah, that's it. All right. Hold on. All right. I'll be right back. I got to run outside. I think my buddy's here with the, with the uh, tractor trailer. Hold on. Uh oh. Yeah, he has to haul a bunch of uh, those 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 carpets with a thing in the middle. He has a, he has a whole bus load of them hoes. Anyway, <laughs> right back. A rolled up heavy carpet. Yeah, something in the middle. Yeah. Oh, it's a disposal service. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a service. That's, dude, I don't want to say too much. Of, you know. <laughs> oh man. I think I got one more. I, dude, I think I should be back to. Uh, not not drowning as bad February. I think February I should be back in pocket and stuff like that. Well, mm. let's hope we all are a little. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. What's that? Joseph Smith says, "Yeah, oh yeah, oysters big time for me. I am in development of my personal oyster bed in Delaware Bay for the past four years. Harvested five hundred bush bushels off it this fall. So." What is what does that exactly mean? Your personal oyster bed, like you have, there's a spot that like you, that you rent or something like in the bay that only you're allowed to touch, or is it like first come first serve in the area? Like how how does that work, Joseph? I'm curious. yeah, that's kind of cool. It, it's interesting, like how they harvest. Have you ever seen they like pull? They have these things hanging in the water. I, I don't. I think oysters they do it the same like that, like mussels. I think they all do it like that. A thing hanging in the water, and then they and then grow on it. Or the yeah, on it. and then they yeah. pull it. They pull it up, and it's just got all the bushels on them. All right, Joseph, do they is, do that? Is, is five hundred a year a lot? I'm not. Or is, is the five hundred uh, or five hundred a month? Is, I don't know. I is, is, I'm not sure if that's a lot or not. I think that's a lot for that's a lot. Uh, for a small if it's just some small little thing. I think that's a good pull, haul. You know, and so on average that would be like I, I don't know, fall would be what three months, so about a hundred a month, hundred and fifty a month or something. Joe, really Joseph, uh, what what kind of oysters is it that you're um, that you're harvesting? Male oysters. See, Joseph, he's got a, it's kind of cool when you listen to him talk. Like, I don't understand when and how that guy has time to ever fish because fishing is like, it's not just a job. It's like a, it's a lifelong yeah. commitment and lifestyle, you know? Yeah. And Joseph Smith is on our chat and watching us. So, oh, down. yeah, I see him in the morning a lot. I at least bought them from the state of Delaware. Okay. So do you just grow them on the bottom then, or do they still grow like they do mussels and stuff like where you they grow on that suspended thing? Interesting. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, Joseph is a freaking hardworking man. I don't know how he has time to freaking always be here BSing with us like some retard. 
I'm like a what? A nothing. <laughs> <I'm> fucking shit. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're supposed to. Looks like we're not uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're supposed to get some snow. It looks like snow and or rain. Oh yeah. Um, no, for us to get rain, it has to be like seventy-five to eighty percent chance of rain for us to get rain. Yeah, fifty percent chance of rain. We might get like ten minutes. And then Monday and Tuesday, we've got rain. Yeah, but I don't want to go north no more. Saturday, Sunday, we but we have, as of now, we have like in the twenties uh, percents, twenty percent, twenty three, and twenty eight percent, fifty two, and then Friday, Friday we only have a two percent. So it looks like tomorrow we're gonna get hit, and then we're gonna have a break, and then we're gonna possibly have up to one, up to like four or five days of bad weather. Mm -hmm. That's not Nevada City. What the hell? I looked up for some reason. It just popped up. So I looked up. I clicked where it said Nevada City, and it's a picture of Reno. Like that's not Nevada City, dummies. Well, then the the description says talks about Nevada City in you know California. It's Nevada City. That is a dirty, dirty, dirty hippie place. Oh yeah. my God. they are all I, I if anybody is not a dirty hippie liberal extremist there I'd be shocked. It's a beautiful area though. But they usually do infest the, the beautiful areas. You typically parasites go to the most beautiful areas to destroy it. You guys, what are you guys doing? You guys are quiet. Oh, nothing. Just fucking talking to people. I'm trying to get more players and stuff. I only got like three players a day on the on the on the game on the arcade Telegram chat. Oh yeah, you sent me a thing for that, didn't you? Yeah, dude. The only thing it is, dude, is going there. We pick one game out every week, and a high score gets fifty bucks. Um, and then we're gonna do something. And then we're gonna do something to kind of you know get the um the weekly pool up a little uh, higher. Work. I have to scan that you that you are or that QR code. Uh no, here I'll send you a link. And all you gotta do is go in there. I'll show. It says game of the week. Hey baby, hi tiny dog. Hi little tiny. Yeah. Our boy dog's finally starting to like the girl more. And it's free to play. It don't cost nothing. And high score gets 50 bucks. A uh, new game every Monday. And that's all it is. It's, you know, we're all on Telegram already, y'all. So let's have a little What's fun with catch? it. What's the catch? There's no catch. Well, the catch is uh, <laughs> sooner or later. No, the catch is sooner or later. If we want the prize pool to, to go higher, uh, we're going to start selling like $5 NFTs and $10 NFTs. And then well, the price will go up. Coming from already, huh? Where's the fifty coming from already? If everything, uh, me and Kenny are splitting the money. So like, um, you know, we put up twenty five dollars a week up just to, you know, just to start getting players in. And then, you know, once we start selling NFT, like, say we're gonna sell a hundred NFTs for like five bucks each. That there will put our prize pool for fifty dollars a week for ten weeks. And then we're gonna start selling the ten dollars NFTs. And then you know, saying the price pool will get up a little higher. And like, say the the five dollars NFTs. Uh, you can win like five percent of the prize pool, and a ten dollar NFT. You can win ten percent of the prize pool. And so, say that we sell, you know, a thousand NFTs. Or if I could say we sell um, five hundred NFTs at, at ten bucks, that's five grand. So, you know, saying first place has a chance to win, you know, saying like five hundred bucks. Uh, you know, saying that right there would be 10 percent of the prize pool. And so we're just gonna kind of real build up the NFTs, like little, you know, saying five dollars, ten dollars NFTs, just get people in the community and stuff like that. So. Um, it was gonna, just, you know, just mess around. This is like day three, you know. Ain't nothing uh, too crazy. Just let me guess. It's your same old uh, developer. No, no, no. Me and Kenny, me and Kenny are, um, me and Kenny are messing around on this one. 
So is that his new uh, his new nickname is Kenny? No, you know Kenny, fucker. Kenny. What? Kenny from Las Vegas. Kenny. Kenny. The fucking oh, blue oh, Kenny. Big yeah, me and Kenny are doing this. Me and Kenny are playing the, doing the game. Oh, okay, okay. Kenny, I like Kenny. Kenny's cool. Yeah, no, no, me and Kenny are doing the uh, the arcade shit. Okay. What's his name again on Telegram? I can never remember what he goes. I G Y B crypto. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I know whenever I see it and I hear his voice, I know it's him. Yeah. No, but like I say, you know, um, our we would like to give away fifty thousand dollars in, in the year twenty twenty three just off this game, and you know, I mean, now don't think we're not gonna make nothing off it because we are gonna take twenty five percent of the ten dollar NFTs. And the twenty-five dollar NFTs, but we're gonna call it like an admin fee. But the other seventy-five percent goes into the price pool. Okay, so. is this what he was already uh, had in the works when we were in Vegas for PulseCon? Uh, I don't know. Me and him only been talking about this for about two weeks now. So I, uh, you know, oh no, no, that was his. I think that was the thing that he came out with that that betting thing. I think is what that was. Oh, the NFT bookies, yeah. I say, how's he, that doing? Yeah, uh, it, it, it's it's. I don't know. I'll let him speak on it. Like I say, it didn't do as good as he thought. Like I say, he didn't really get as many investors. And I said, you know what? You know, saying selling five hundred dollar NFTs is hard. I said, let's let's shoot, let's sell five dollar NFTs and ten dollar NFTs. You know, saying make a community thing out of it. And so, you know, more people spend five dollars and ten dollars than you know, than a hundred or five hundred. Like you know, yeah. But like I said, the goal is to you know say say we send ten thousand dollars in the so we sell one thousand. Uh, NFTs at ten bucks. That's like ten thousand dollars. You know, what I'm saying ten uh, percent of that's like a thousand dollars. So we can give away a thousand dollars on on a fucking Monday. That there kick, kick some FOMO in to sell to buy more NFTs. Yeah, that would. You know, definitely would be a positive thing. Yeah, that's one thing we're doing. Like I say, you know, I'm selling five dollars and ten dollars NFTs, and then we're gonna do a fifteen dollar, uh, fifteen percent price pool NFT for like twenty five bucks. But that's gonna be like the, the cap of it at twenty five dollars, you know. Now Zilla's already working on the NFTs for us and stuff like that, so it's gonna it's gonna be a good year, bro. Damn, I never th realized that. So, I'll, Joseph, so a lot of rain or major drought messes with the oysters, huh? That's weird. So there are very. Uh, like finicky little creature, huh? Ugh. Oh, you guys about ready to call it? Yeah, I'll call it. I'm saying, yeah, I'm like I'm gonna have to go roll another one if I don't. Yeah, I think Morpheus is dealing with his buddy. Might be at his house. Well, Rhino, you got any any last words? Anything? Hey, let's get let's get a little bit of quick uh, anxiety. Oh. Uh, you guys have a uh, good night, I suppose. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys in the chat room. All, All right. right. Let's see it. Win Lambo Yellow Lambo Win. Lambo, yellow, Lambo, win, 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 Lambo, yellow, Lambo, shooting to the moon, to the moon, and go. I want to fall, fall.